Hey guys, it is me, Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome this is your first time here for today's video. I have a January book haul, which I am super excited about, but before I get into it, I want to state the obvious, yes, my hair is a different color. If you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you might have not seen that. I went really, really dark, and honestly, I really do love it. I feel like it suits me and just the way I want things to progress when it comes to my life. Not that I didn't love the balayage. I've had it for a really long time, and I was sort of getting sick of it, and I wanted to go sort of back to my natural color but I wanted to go even darker than my natural color. So that's what I did. Let's talk more about books. So I received a couple packages this month. I'm extremely thankful. Some of the books I know what they are and others I don't, which honestly is sort of fun because then I get to see exactly what they are on camera with you guys. So let's just jump right on in. So the first book I have is actually from Entangled Teen. It is Pretty Dead Girls, and this is from Monica Murphy. It says, Beautiful Perfect Dead. Watch out, Pretty Little Liars. A new girl in town, Monica Murphy hits it out of the park, and that's from the best selling author Rachel Von Dyken. On the back, it says, They are beautiful, they are popular, they are mean, they are in the right place at the right time. Those are the requirements. So it seems to be a young adult thriller book, which I haven't read too many, but I definitely want to check this one out. Let me know if you guys have read it since it has been already out for about a month. Then I have sort of an unmarked package. I think this might be Clean Teen Publishing because I sort of recognize the name, but who knows for sure? It is a little bit hard for me to open. So this is a clean teen publishing book. It is called The Vikings Chosen. It is by Quinn Loftus. It comes out on the 12th of February. This is an advanced reader's copy. It's a historical fiction and it features Vikings, which I personally haven't read anything about Vikings, you know, any stories that features them. So I'm actually really interested in this book. It says on the front, the prophecy must be fulfilled. On the back it says his orders are clear launch a raid against England and bring home the spoils of war two worlds collide in this epic historical fiction centered on an undeniable chemistry that smolders against the odds richly written and injected with moments of humor this action-packed romantic tale will leave you breathless I actually really badly want to read this if you guys would like to see a review or any of the books you want to see a review for let me know down below in the comment section the next package I have I already know what's inside because the author actually emailed me and asked if I wanted to read and review it and since I actually read the first book a part of this series I said yes of course so I'm excited it is The Journey, and this is from Elise Baltz. This is actually the sequel to a book I read last year and I actually reviewed, which is The Crowd. So I'll leave this review up in the cards. I really enjoyed this book. I was actually a little bit surprised by how much I enjoyed it. It's a young adult contemporary, but it has a lot of different sort of character drama aspects. I feel like it's really character driven book, which I personally, you know, prefer. But there's a lot of different side stories and different elements that I wasn't really expecting when it came to the overall plot. So I am very much anticipating this sequel because I really enjoyed this one so much. Whenever I do get to this book, I will definitely be reviewing it. So let me know if you guys are excited for that. Next, I actually have a book from Macmillan. This was sent to me unsolicited. So I actually knew I was getting this because I received an email like a few weeks back. It is The Wires and Nerve Volume 2 Gone Rogue. It's from Marissa Meyer and the art is from Stephen Gilpin. It's a part of the Lunar Chronicles series which I've only ever read the first one which is Cinder. I read that actually last year or maybe two years ago. I liked it. I didn't love it but I definitely do want to continue on with the rest of the series and this is actually like the continuation of the original original book series. So it has all art sort of format, which is really cool. Along with this, they also sent me a poster. So thank you so much to Macmillan. Then I have two packages from Bloomsbury. So this is one of them. Let's open up and see what's inside. So the book they sent my way is The Universe is Expanding and So Am I. And this is from Carolyn Mackler. It comes out on May 29th. And this is actually the sequel to The Earth, My Butt, and Other Round Things, which that name is so funny. And what caught my attention is actually one of my favorite authors, Sarah Dessen, actually had a blurb on the back, 
which says, I love this book. It's funny, sweet, and most of all, hopeful. It should be required reading for all girls everywhere. So I definitely want to read the first book. That's what she's talking about. And now that I have the sequel, I think that will sort of get me more hyped to do that. The other book they sent my way is Moonrise, which is from Sarah Crossan, and this book comes out on May 8th. This is also a YA contemporary book, but this seems to be a little bit more serious, and this one is actually written in verse. On the front, it says, what can't be forgiven, and on the back, it says, they think I hurt someone, but I didn't. You hear? Because people are going to be telling you all kinds of lies. I need to know the truth. And the paper they gave me has a sentence that I want to read. It says, Crossan offers a poignant and thought-provoking novel in verse that explores life, death, love, and forgiveness. The final two boxes I have are page habit boxes, which yet again I am sort of a rep for. So if you're interested, a link is always down below. I want to start with the December box. So let me try to figure out which one that is. That is this one. So let's open up this bad boy. I don't have scissors, so I'm trying to use like the cube of an Apple phone charger. That is so sad. So the first couple of things I see is first a letter from the author of the book, which I don't know what it is yet. I also have another short story, and this is from Great Jones Street. And this one is called a Whiter Shade of Christmas, and this is from Taylor Grant. And then the other thing I have is a bookmark that says, fill your house with stacks of books and all the crannies and all the nooks. And this is a quote from Dr. Seuss. Then I have the info card, which on one side, it has like a thing if you wanna join the referral program. And then it also states, you know, this month's pick. And then on this side, it actually says where they donated the books to for that month. And yet again, it will give information about the donation process and also information information about, you know, the country where they donated to. The next thing I see is a keychain that actually is like bubble effect and then this is sort of a, you know, old ink pen attached. And the quote inside says, I am an omnivorous reader with a strangely retinent memory for trifles. And I don't know what that's from, but that's a really cute keychain. Next is this, which I have no idea what it is, but it has a heart and it's like wrapped. It says, unwind surprise ball, four prizes. It's from the online store topsmalibu.com. So do I unwrap it? Is that what I do? Ooh, it has yellow underneath this pink wrapping. I feel like this is going to take a while. Uh, okay. Ooh, hold on. Let me see what that says. Something fell out. The little paper on the one side says the website and on the other side says your dreams can come true more quickly than you ever imagined. The right doors will open. Good fortune. That's really cute. This is so fun actually. It's like I just hold it in my hand and then I just pull the paper. Oh, we have a different color. We have green. Goodbye yellow. Now I'm going to unwrap the green. And we do have some little goodies. This is one of those things where it has a parachute attached to it. I used to have these things when I was younger with the aliens. And this one looks like it's a little like bumblebee or something. It has wings and everything. The next thing I see is a ring. It's yellow and silver. That's really pretty. And then there is smarties which i absolutely love smarties so that is a really fun item especially to unravel now we have the book of the month that was picked out in december for the romance category from page habit and the book is now that you mention it and this is from kristen higgins i've never heard of this book but it says new york times best-selling author kristen higgins welcomes you home in this witty emotionally charged novel about the complications of life love and family and if you're not familiar with page habit they actually will have the author annotate the book inside so all of these little sticky notes are notes from the author herself which is so fun i absolutely love it it's such a fun reading experience before i get onto the january box i actually saw this was on the ground so in the december box i also got the copper string lights and these are 20 LEDs with timer and I actually might put this in my apartment because that's a really cool timer six hours on 18 hours off moving on to the January box the first thing I see is actually sort of a signature that you could place into the book so I'm not gonna see who the author is 
But the next thing actually is a letter from the author, which yet again, I'm not going to see who it is. Moving along, I have a few goodies. First being a, I think this is like a mail opener. I don't actually use this stuff. Or is it one of those things that like hold things in place? I don't know. But it looks really cool. It's like an antique gold and it has an image of books on the inside of this little bubble. And then the bookmark of the month is actually Harry Potter, which says, It is our choices that show what we truly are far more than our abilities. The next two things I see are sheet masks, which I absolutely love sheet masks. If you don't know, they're like one of my favorite things. I feel like they're just so pampering. So this one is a avocado sheet mask. And then the other one I have is the cucumber sheet mask and it says calm and cooling. So I am super excited to try out these two. So then we have the info card, which is the exact same as the other side, except for this specific side, which gives information on that particular place they donated books to for that month. So for the month of January, they donated books to Ghana, which is really, really awesome. The next thing I see are eight tree friendly pencils and you actually sharpen them right here. It sort of looks like a cigarette, like an old cigarette sort of match thing, but this is what they look like. I think that's really cool. I haven't actually ever heard of this. It says, save the trees. We need them. Every time you remove a tree friendly pencil from the pack, you will be reminded of the deforestation that occurs for things we take for granted. Made out of recycled paper, so no trees were harmed in the making of this product. That is really cool. I've never heard of anything like this. Then we have another short story from Great Jones Street, and this one is Immaculate Obsessions, which is from John Affleck. Then we have the book that was picked out in January for the romance category, which is Starlight Nights, and this is from Stacy Cade. It says it's hot under the lights and hotter behind the scenes. It says in this sizzling companion to the critically acclaimed 738 Days, Stacy Cade once again creates a massive combination of romance, angst, and thrills in this backdrop of a Hollywood film set. So I've never heard of this book or even the companion novel, so I am very excited to have it in my possession. So those are all the goodies I got this month. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you have read any of the books I mentioned this month. Also, let me know if you have any video requests or if you would like to see any video reviews for these books. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!